Hello witch folk, welcome to our coven. We're angels on broomsticks, we're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we love the makeup! I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today we have another episode of doing makeup and talking about... Episode 4 from Just Like That. Yeah, the new Sex in the City reboot. So we've done two other episodes before this. The first one covered episode 1 and 2 because they came out at the same time. And we're just going to continue with this. Yeah, we love it. We're gonna... We don't care if you don't watch it. <laughs> but, you know, we, we're going to talk about the topics of the show, so you don't really need to watch it. Yeah, so we've decided for people who don't watch Sex and the City who watch our channel, we'll, you know, expand the conversation. Last time it was Late Life Lesbians. Yeah. This time, I don't know, we'll see where the conversation goes. And, excitingly, Palettes of the Day... Uh, your Odin's Eye order. From yeah, Odin. so at Black Friday, I ordered the Odin's Eye. Because, you know, I trashed this brand, but now I take my words back. <laughs> I didn't get the scarves, thank gods, because I didn't want them. And you have this one. And then I got the... Norm. 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 Yeah. Nice. Yeah, some nice colors here. I borrowed the uh, Giant Wolves one, and it was so pretty. Are you going to, like, dip in multiple ones or focus I on I don't know. One? Well, wait. Wait, we'll th I'll tell you what I'm doing later. Okay. I'm thinking of trying this red dragon one, so. So yeah, let's hop to it. Which lady to start talking about? Because now they just like all have kind of separate I feel like it was now. like a real Charlotte plot line in a way. Scrambling to get that dinner party or her black friends in order, you know? Yeah. she has a black friend. Yeah. From school and they, eek, I bought you a coffee. Oh, I bought you a coffee. <laughs> Basically, she and this woman, I'm forgetting her name, Christ. Oh, LTW? Yeah, yeah. Whatever that means. LTW. Lisa, maybe. Something. Oh, it's Lisa. It's always Lisa. So they're like, their kids obviously go to the super elite school. They're very wealthy types of people, and but they get along really well, and LTW is black, and they've been trying to yeah hang out for the longest time, and then Charlotte's going to host her over for dinner one night and realizes oh my gosh all my friends are vanilla so she's like trying to find she's like inviting random people her neighbors downstairs and pushing it and she's acting freaking creepy i don't know i feel like well i feel like this plot line's very aware of itself like my friend messaged me about it. she's like this is so cringe like when she was watching it it is kind of cringe i was cringy. it is cringy obviously it's like showing how charlotte's obsessed with perfectionism is she actually like concerned about the fact she doesn't have a diverse friend group? I don't know. It seems like more she's more concerned about her image crafting. I think so. But I think that her friend uh, is sort of a similar type. I of think person yeah. In that she, way. Well, I think Charlotte's a classic narcissist, but not in a bad way. Really? Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, you think Carrie's a narcissist? Well, they're all narcissists in a way, except for maybe Miranda, who's just a pure on alcoholic. <laughs> You're either a narcissist or an alcoholic, okay? <laughs> or, or an enabler. <laughs> Three categories. Which one do you fit into? Um, Codependent, apparently. Codependent? According to my therapist. Oh. I'm a codependent. But oh. I don't believe it. What am I dependent on? Alcohol. <laughs> this is an eggnog, by the way. Uh, okay, well, I felt like the plot line that was more interesting in this episode was Carrie's, actually, because mm -hmm. Carrie's selling her apartment, which reminds her too much of Big, who passed away, and she has a realtor named Seema, who's a new character, who's a single lady in her 50s who's still rocking it, still going out on the town, still on Tinder, all these things, and they're sort of forming a relationship. And Seema is the new Samantha, so it seems. Yeah. Seema. Samantha. Seema seems like a cool character. And she smokes. And we're into it now. I'm into Carrie smoking. <laughs> Cause Are it you? I feel like it just because it reminds of us old of old times. times. But it is kind of funny, you know, the plot line where if you watch the show, you watch it because you want to look at the clothes and the decor. Oh, and yeah. Seema... Does the apartment in all beige. So ugly. I had something to say about that. Okay, okay, so you know how there's this thing like stage your home for potential buyers and you basically make it pretty beige usually? Why is that? Who sees a beige apartment and sees their vision? Because 
I saw Carrie's old apartment. I mean, how she decorated it, and I'm like, wow, yeah, beautiful, so inspiring. But the beige apartment, if I saw that oh, apartment, I'd be, I'd be like, it's like, ew, this is ew, a bad, what an ugly apartment. Howard Johnson's hotel room. Yeah. And then the fact that Carrie only had one shirt offer on her apartment, I thought that the New York real estate market was the same as here in Toronto. But the plotline that was interesting about um, Seema, her realtor, was they're having lunch. Seema's showing Carrie like all her dating profiles and the Tinder men's and Carrie says, well, I think it's great that you're still putting yourself out there. And you can see Seema sort of react to it. It doesn't say anything. She bristles. But then later, when at one point, like, Carrie's reacting, reacts outwardly to something Seema does, does, which is accidentally knock over a picture of her and Big, Seema's like... breaks the glass, like, whoop de doo uh, He's like, he touched that he glass. He touched that glass, seriously, bitch. <laughs> Carrie's yelling at her, like, you're being so insensitive about this glass breaking of this picture, and Seema's like... I, you know, apologizing. I didn't mean to come across that way. Sometimes we can all come across as insensitive sometimes. Today it was me. The other day it was you at lunch. Carrie's like, what? It's like when you were saying that I'm, you admire me for still putting myself out there. That's what, that's what she said. An old broad still dating after all these years, never finding a man's. So she calls her out, and I thought that that was interesting. I like that she did that. Yeah, because Carrie's sort of like, oh, oh, yeah, okay. This is where Carrie is so yeah. narcissistic. Like, your glass, like, I hate people like that. Well. You broke a glass that he touched. But clearly it's just a reaction from grief. Okay. <laughs> what about um, Miranda? Oh, Miranda's going on um, a dinner date with her professor, the one who she totally made a fool of herself in front of in the first couple episodes. I don't know why she invited Miranda on a date. Because she's into Miranda. Because who wants to go on a date with like 20 year olds? It's not a date. It's a, like well, a... you know, a, taking she, her out to dinner. She's doing IVF. So I guess maybe because she's a mature lady and a mother. Yeah, she wants some of her insight about motherhood and Really seems like Miranda's not that happy right now. No. Everything I'm gathering. It's boring being a mother. <laughs> Were you wildly I wouldn't bored? I want to be a mother to that boy. Yeah, he's I don't him like and his that stupid boy. girlfriend are rude. Ew. I don't like his girlfriend, especially the way she talks to Miranda. Like, like in this you episode. should drink whole milk. <laughs> I feel like this episode was a little bit of a transition episode. Yeah. Kind of was, a filler episode. There wasn't that much that happened. I agree. Not a huge amount of interesting things. Yeah. Oh, Stanford is gone to Japan. Because he's, what is it? A TikTok star he manages. He's gone on tour with her. So the actor... He passed during filming, so we we're curious what they were gonna do with his. To be honest, I'm super grateful they did that. Instead of killing him? Oh my god, yeah. I can't deal with another death this year. We thought it was bad that year David Bowie went. I wanna try your Pat McGrath under eye powder. Look at what, show the people what you did. Somebody hit pan. More Not than only hit did pan. I hit pan. You've destroyed the pan. I just, there's no writing on it. No wonder I couldn't find it. <laughs> the hit pan. This is um, the, the blurring under eye powder from Pat McGrath, which Julia Adams like always. Did you touch it? You didn't. No, I haven't touched it. I just asked for it. Oh, it kicks up nicely. I like it. So I want to try it once I'm done my blush. I'm obsessed with these rose ink blushes. I'm, I've said it before. I'm saying it again. I ordered another color. I think I ordered the color that you have. And uh, and Anemone. Oh, look how dark this color is. Isn't it pretty? What color is it? Dahlia. Dahlia. So I mentioned before that I've been into, starting to get into these things called the Kibbe body types. Oh, and yeah. I love watching shows and stuff, especially Sex in the City. Now sort of reading about all these body types and how to best style them and trying to guess who's what kind of body type just based on like what looks good on them. And it's been... That's been my project of mm. the past couple days. I'm like obsessing and now I'm trying to reinvent my wardrobe a little bit. You should watch the show Stylish. So good. And what's it about? Just fashion? So it's about, um, her name is Jenna Lyons. Six feet tall, 50 something lady. You know, with big glasses. 
very willowy. But she's all about fashion, and now she's reinventing herself as, like, styling anything, like, house, houses, like, decor. Mm. <gasps> oh, so good. <laughs> See, I look at her, and I think, you just have to always remind yourself, channel that person. Don't get lost in the idea, like, oh, I must be Marilyn Monroe or something. Oh, she's true. a man repeller. Like, she's a real man repeller, which I'm into. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I want to get more but into she, fashion. Yeah, she's very fashionable. You watch her, because everybody has a fashion challenge in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So good. Hmm. You love it, like how to accessorize. I would think she would have a few things to say about some things Carrie's worn. Like, like bad things? Yeah, like sometimes Carrie wears too many things too big all the time or something like okay the thing that we hate that she wore the one outfit i abhor only one is the one with the belt yeah in sex in the city the one where she has a belt over her bare midriff oh yeah that one yeah. that was the worst outfit ever <laughs> i love like almost all her outfits but she's that one wearing a what? okay Why? a white shirt that's tied here half the bra is showing bare midriff and a low slung wide skirt and the belt is over a belly button. Yeah. She's going to go on to try on tacky wedding dresses. Oh, yeah, that episode. <sighs> oh, awful. Anyway. So, yeah, it's been fun to, like, yeah, look into style more. And, okay, you know when you have an outfit and it's, like, something, whenever you wear it, you just feel good. It doesn't matter your mood. You just always like how you look in that. But then you yeah. also have something that's the opposite. And it's like you want to like it and part of you likes it. Or you put it on and you like it at first. But then after you're like, what? No, I'm taking this off. It's all about like what is how to proportion one? things for you. You have one specifically? I've had many things that... Okay, like I have something of yours that... It was from Zulily and it's like this navy lace kimono. Yeah. I love the idea of it, but the oh. color navy oh, it looks like just shit. looks, it's a cobalt. No, it's a cobalt blue. Looks terrible on me. I'm not a navy girl. Oh, okay. Well, let me see it then. Maybe I'll like it. No, I put it in value. Oh, poop. Okay, here I go into this. I'm excited. This is so pretty. Is Charlotte narcissistic because she's so concerned about how she looks? Yeah. Like how, how she, she looks presents. to other people. Yeah. Mind you, she's, I mean, she's not a good mom and nice to her husband, so. Yeah. I don't, I still don't think a character like that could exist in real life without imploding. <laughs> Do True. you know? Maybe she will implode. Her and that, her friend, LTW. Because they're both too, so perfect. Yeah, she's too good to be true, yeah, LTW. She is. They need to have a fight. Even when Charlotte admits like she was so nervous to invite her over because she realized she had no black friends, LTW is so chill about it. And she's like, I was nervous to invite you to my dinner party because you were the only white people. I thought she was going to rip her a new one a little bit. Like, yeah, like what, stop what? trying to find a token yeah. black person. Boo -boo. Yeah. But no. No, she's cool. I was sad there wasn't more development with the Miranda and Shay. Che, che. It will. In this episode. Oh, though. in this episode. Do you hear that? Can you tell the people what's going on next door? Because <laughs> it's amazing. Right now we can hear through the walls my neighbor. He's been dating this person for like maximum six months. <gasps> can they hear me? No. They're not. They're interested in each other. <laughs> and he ran into my house the other day with an engagement ring because he's going to propose to her. I tried the, uh, your NARS eyeshadow base. And? I don't know. It blends differently. I feel weird and ugly today. I didn't sleep all day. All night. I have problems. <laughs> I have a dog staying at my house and he doesn't, he's not good with my two littles. No. And he's way bigger. He's a giant golden retriever. Yeah, you think golden retrievers are like the cutest and they are, he's cute. But he's really vicious. I just made a kind of mess. Boop. You always say that. <laughs> I'm trying to blend it out. There was some nice fashion moments. Carrie brought out her, like, she always has a thing for tulle and, like, pairing tulle, big puffy skirts with, like, a casual I like shirt. that. Yeah, and she's in the corner store <laughs> where the bodega is. And the bodega say. guy addresses her as Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> has her name wrong. No, oh, that's um, her name. Apparently, it's Caroline Marie Bradshaw. 
on her passport. Caroline Marie. Caroline Marie? Yes. Oh my God, that is so weird. Caroline. Yeah. Oh. I watched the Carrie Diaries of the thing of Carrie yeah, when she was a not. kid, and I never addressed that. I could never watch that. That's. Fan I didn't watch it. It's worse. I didn't watch it as Sex in the City. I watched it as its own show, and I enjoyed it. I liked the fashion in that one, actually. But it was funny when she was in that bodega, the woman who walks in after yeah. her, like, looks down at her tool and just, like, steps over what the it. fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think it'd be so awesome to see someone dressing like Carrie, but you never do. Mm-hmm. You never do. Do you in New York? Hey, New Yorkers, tell us. Is there a real-life Carrie Bradshaw twirling around? <laughs> I've seen so many TikToks lately of people doing the Carrie Bradshaw walk down the street. Like when you're Carrie Bradshaw and you're on a mission and they're like going through New York City. Like, is she, she ever on a mission? It. She always is off to lunch. I always see her kind of like strolling. And she always does that thing where she's crossing and she sort of picks oh. up her pace a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone was doing it in their small town. Ha. Huh. All right. I'm putting the shimmer on with the glitter glue base. Okay, I'm gonna go in with one of these shimmers. The shimmers in this palette are really pretty in real life. Mm -hmm. And they have like a, this really pretty iridescence. Ooh, this one's Ooh. quite creamy. Look how iridescent. Oops. Wow, oh my God. See, I think these palettes really stand out for their shimmers. Their mattes like not so much. You don't like the matte? I find the mattes kind of dusty and not that blendable. Oh, yeah, I was having a hard time blending today but I think that's me I never blame the product really no some some mats are better than others uh -huh. whereas I was using the uh Pat your mothership McGrath. Pat McGrath and the mats blended beautiful. yeah I'm gonna go into Pat McGrath in 2022 you're gonna get back in I think it? I'm gonna get one more of the big O's I'm interested in the new what's it called Bridgerton oh the Bridgerton collab I can't mm. wait for the new Bridgerton I can Okay, let's uh, do our mascara and be back to finish this. I think I gotta sort out this blend a little more. Same. Boop, boop, boop. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we let's... We had struggles blending. With the mattes a little bit. It's all right. Like, I'm, it was patchy, but it was easy at least to unpatchify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you ever have like um, an eyeshadow and like, gets patchy and you're trying to buff it out or blend it and it's not moving and you just have a patchiness this i found could smooth itself out though yeah <laughs> anyway i wanted to do a lip combo that's actually my favorite like go-to lip combo for when i'm doing a no makeup makeup look and i don't think i've ever talked about it on this channel and that's the almost lipstick from clinique and the perfect liner to pair with that look how small this is is the nyx liner Nyx. in the shade ever oh ooh. this is my first liner i ever bought as a child not even a child like a couple years ago my oh. friend i didn't have lip liners for the longest time i always was into lipstick when i was young but never lip liners and she's like why don't you try this who's that Allie. oh Allie. yeah anyway that's what i'm gonna do today i just doing the same usual endless cacao and i into the vive thing again treasure Treasure. Okay, nice. nice. I like this look, I think. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good little neutrally look, but with some gold. These shimmers are so pretty. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. So, yeah, I don't know. There wasn't too much happening in this episode, but we feel like I think it's just setting things up. Yeah, there were some cool outfits, though. The plaid thing. Oh, and, oh, and I like the outfit she wore to see that loft. Oh, where the yeah. guy said, "Can you want to check out the bedroom?" <laughs> yeah. Okay, we gotta pop up those outfits right yeah, now. Yeah, really nice. So pretty. Yeah. Oh, is that you were gonna say? Go check oh, yeah, out the check style out, show. Yeah, stylish. Stylish. With, with Jenna Lyons. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, we'll see you next time. Definitely catch up on and just like that. If you aren't already and stay witchy stay bitchy have a good week bye, bye witches, witches.